were so many people at that party last night that one of the guests in attendance told us that even the host was trying to get folks to leave at one point, especially as the number of people unknown to them began to grow. It was sometime around after 1230 in the morning when two men, at least one of them in a ski mask, opened fire. Holly Matthews was 22 years old. She was studying to become an arborist at Joliet Junior College and had gotten engaged just two weeks ago while on vacation in Utah. Last night, she was out with two girlfriends celebrating Halloween when she was shot and killed at a house party in unincorporated Joliet. She went to a party in Frankfurt, uh, was there until midnight, and the party ended. And then one of her friends, I think that the girl she was with, said, let's go to this other party. Holly and her friends were there only briefly and had, by all accounts, decided to leave when police say two men standing on the porch began firing into a crowd of people gathered in the backyard. Those there say the party had swelled to around 200. In the chaos, at least 12 people were shot, two of them fatally. Holly and a 22-year-old man identified as Jonathan Ceballos, a childhood friend of his, Nathan, was among those at the party last night. He was a great dude. Uh, straight A dude, great, great at sports, just overall in general, just a genuinely good person. I knew his dad, his dad coached me, I know his brother. Investigators spent the day going through the home, gathering evidence and talking to witnesses, trying to determine what led to the violence. I just talked to her yesterday morning and she was going to come over today for Halloween. She was all looking forward to it and we're going to carve pumpkins in the whole nine yards. Just a young girl in a costume for a Halloween party. And lost her life for no reason. Absolutely no reason. Because this took place in unincorporated Joliet, it is the Will County Sheriff's Office that is in charge of the investigation. And they're asking anyone who may have been at the party last night and who may have cell phone video of what happened to turn it over so that they may be able to, so that they may be able to track down those responsible for this terrible shooting.